guys it is your girl Prissy welcome back for another video if this is your first time tuning in I mainly focus on thrifting whether that is fashion home decor or just my lifestyle in general your girl loves to thrift I also dabble in natural hair and some cooking videos so today we're jumping into a natural hair tutorial you guys have seen me do my coil and go routine in a previous video I filmed that one about a year ago and you guys seem to really really enjoy it because I have 88 thousand views on that video so what I thought I would do is run it back one more time especially since my haircut is kind of different now and it's changed since I recorded that video if you don't know I went to the barber shop actually the day before Christmas it was a new barber that I'd never gone to before I really didn't want this cut but like I said I have made lemonade out of lemons so I wanted to show you guys how I do my coil and go routine with my new haircut. So if you're interested in this video, then keep watching. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with freshly washed hair. So I have washed and conditioned my hair. It is super, super soft. I'm going to run my detangling brush through it and just show you guys how soft and detangled my hair actually is right now it feels so good and guys this is my hair with absolutely no product in it and look at how those curls are already popping so the product i'll be using today is one of my old faithfuls and i think i've mentioned this quite a few times before but i absolutely love this product the aunt jackie's don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel i absolutely love this stuff for my wash and goes my coil and goes and also my finger coils so like i said my hair is freshly washed i have absolutely no product in it right now so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some oil you guys know i also love to start with some type of oil on my hair and also end it with some type of oil all right so let's go ahead and put the oil in my hand and then we're also going to put it all over my hair in this video too guys while I'm doing my hair I'm also gonna answer a few questions that I get on my hair videos so I'm gonna pop the questions right here on the screen and answer them as I go okay so this question is from my last video which was the brush curls right so the first question is from Veronica Young shout out to you girl anyway she says it looks awesome is it crunchy now what she's referring to is my brush curls that I did in my last hair video she asked if those curls were crunchy now the styling product that I used in that video is from the brand the main choice and let me tell you guys what I think about it so as far as that particular product goes it gave me so much hold so much definition just everything it was amazing the only downside that I found with that product is that it is super sticky so my hair wasn't crunchy at all but it was sticky it felt like it was never gonna dry so I even used my diffuser as you guys saw in that video I even dried it a little more after the video and even like the next two or three days it was still like feeling sticky so I went ahead and washed my hair and washed it out and I haven't actually used that product since but I want to go ahead and answer that in this video all right guys so I did go ahead and section my hair off I have like my shorter area around the sides sectioned off and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my styling gel I'm gonna put that all around I'm gonna turn around too so you guys can see everything also going to come up a little bit closer so we can really get into the curls too all right so now that we have our product our gel around our perimeter of the hair i'm going to go ahead and just brush it in just to make sure the product is distributed all right so now that we have that done i'm going to use my trusty sponge you guys know I do just about every video with this sponge because it works wonders. 
So taking my sponge, I'm just gonna do circular motions around the perimeter of my hair. And I don't know if you guys notice, but when I do this side of my hair, like from, from the middle of the back on to the right, I go in forward motions and then I switch over to this hand and I use forward motions as well. Just so that I'm not going back and detangling curls that I've already, you know, made. So I take it around to the middle. So another question that I got, I got it from Nichelle B. King. And Nichelle B. asked, I know you used to put setting lotion on your hair first. Do you not recommend that anymore? I have used setting lotions when doing some of my styles. And y'all, I'm just trying out different things to see what I like, what works. I do like the setting lotion. I do use it sometimes. I don't use it all the time. Like, I don't want to come on and use the same products and give you guys the same techniques in every video. So I just try to switch it up just a little bit. But yes, yes, I still use the setting lotion from time to time. So I don't actually love how these curls and coils came out towards the top of my hair. So I'm gonna put a little more gel in those and kind of do like a little finger coil in this area. All right guys, so now that the sides and the back of my hair is complete, those shorter areas, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and then we're gonna start the coil and go process. All right guys, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take some of that gel and just add it all over this top section of my hair. Part it a little bit, do a little finger parting and then add more product. Cause I told y'all, Big Red eats the product up, okay? She eats it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I also have my little water bottle handy right here so that I can wet my hair a little more. It is kind of dry right here. It has like dried up a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more moisture. Okay, so after all of that product has been added, I like to kind of just go around each side, add some finger coils there, and then also do some finger coils. Y'all see how out of shape my hair is? Like that barber really mess my hair up but i'm not going back to get it cut anytime soon so it's gonna have to grow and i'll kind of like trim it up or whatever i gotta do but i'm not going back to get another haircut for a good good while okay so now that we have this area all separated i'm just gonna go in and add some finger coils to that section. And if you guys haven't seen my finger coil tutorial, I will link it right here as well as in the description box down below. All right guys, so those finger coils are done and in place. And if you guys don't know, my coil and go method is just a combination of finger coils and also like a wash and go. So my first row, I always do finger coils on that row because my hair is so loose right here in the front. I just want those curls super defined. So I'm gonna go in, do a row of finger coils, and then we're gonna start with like wash and go, finger coil, wash and go. So we're just gonna keep alternating between the two. I'm also gonna add a little more product to this section, especially here at my roots. I am also gonna go across this section and just get rid of these ends. They are so just like raggedy. Just make it even a little bit. And like I said, I'm gonna go in and finger coil this area. All right guys, so 
The very coil portion is done in the front. And then we're gonna do like a wash and go shingling type method on this section right here. So again, parting it straight across. I'm just taking my scissors y'all and I am cutting some of these little straggly ends off because that is really irritating me. <laughs> so with this, I just dip my comb down in the gel, concentrating this more so on the base of my hair since I pretty much already put product all over the top of the hair, the longer parts of the hair. So I'm just going to take this gel and just comb it through making sure I get those ends really well so they can curl up just like that. You see that? <laughs> Was that magic or what? <laughs> so I'm like bending the comb down to get like some coils. I did just take it and like kind of separate it into sections because this side is a little bit shorter. See this little shorter piece? I'm going to coil this. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to run my comb through it, smooth it with my fingers, and let it go. Separate another little section of it, and do the same thing. I am going to divide it a little because it's kind of thick for me. I'm going to divide it, add a little more product, and then kind of flip this one up. And just let it go, y'all. This one, I'm going to comb the curls under. Same thing with this next section. I am going to split it in half a little bit since the hair is a little uneven here. See how it's a little short section here? So I'm going to put a coil here. And then I'm just going to comb this and let it fall. Just like that. And then we're just going to keep doing the same thing until the hair is finished. So another question that I received is how long does a style like this typically last? And for me, this roughly lasts around five days. It just depends on the length of my hair. Now, normally when I have like hair all around this area, it probably lasts more so for about, I say four good days before I actually have to retouch some areas up on the top. And every day I have to retouch the areas on the side and on the back of my hair when it's longer now in this particular case because my sides are pretty much non-existent um i don't have to do anything i can literally just wake up take my bonnet off like do a little rough something with my hands and my hair still looks good okay um that's one plus that came out of this haircut all right guys i'm back it is the next day and i want to show you guys how i normally sleep as well since that's one of the questions that i got so i sleep with a regular bonnet on right you know just a regular um i guess this is a satin bonnet so a regular satin bonnet and then underneath that I have on a satin turban. Now for me, the turban is very important because it kind of like holds my curls tight. Whereas if I just had on the bonnet, my curls would just, you know, do whatever they want. So with this, my curls are tightly in place and let's take it off and see what the curls are looking like today. Okay. Now at this point, what I would normally do is just kind of rough it up with my fingers a little bit i should have put some oil on before this but 
I don't normally do that. <laughs> so I rough it up with my fingers and then I use the oil, which I've given you guys a breakdown of what is normally in my oils. Um, I'll list that in the description box down below for those of you who missed it. So we're just gonna do a little bit of oil, rub that together. I need some on my hands anyway, cause they're ashy. <laughs> and I'm just going to massage that into my hair a little bit. And honestly guys, you can leave your hair just like this, just, you know, separating those curls a little bit. But I'm actually going to lift my roots a little bit today. So I just go in different areas. I try to kind of firstly pull it out with my hands so that, you know, I don't go in and actually mess with the curl. I pull the actual curl out with my hand and then I go straight to my root. Like I can feel my root with the pick. So I go right to the root, lift up just a little bit and that's it. And I just do that all over my head until I have it, you know, kind of as full as I want it. I don't go crazy on it. That's how I get the style to last a few more days. I don't want to go crazy on it on the first day. So I am just lightly lifting those roots, guys. Like not disturbing my curls or anything like that. When I get to the back or the shorter sides, I like to use my rat tooth comb just to pull the smaller areas together and kind of alleviate those spaces. So that is all I'm doing with this comb. And then I'll go back in with the pick again. So I just alternate between the two until I have my hair just like I want it. But guys, look at those curls. Like not hard, not crunchy whatsoever if you guys can see that like they're super soft so my hair is never hard never crunchy um unless it's been about five days since i've put you know some moisture into it then it tends to kind of dry out a little bit and i wash it or co-wash it and redo my style again but other than that my hair feels so good right now y'all <laughs> All right guys, so I've picked out my hair to my liking. So the next thing that I do is just take my brush and go ahead and brush like the shorter parts of my hair. Just to make sure those are, you know, neat and in place. Normally I would go ahead and use my clippers and edge this up a little bit. I'm not gonna do that on camera today. I actually did that in my last Call & Go video. So I'll link that down below in the description box for you guys. Anyway, so this is pretty much my hair. I'll keep it like this for, like I said, about five days. Very easy to take care of, to maintain. I really don't have to do anything to it except use my fingers and kind of like fluff out the top. It is so low maintenance. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.